let us look at one step trick on how to get the inverse of functions just directly so anytime you see a function like this that is similar to this to get the inverse of that function what you just need to do is to take the x here and then change the sign here if it's plus it becomes minus then one all divided by the value that is here number four that is four so this is the inverse of this function then the second one says 3x squared minus 7 what you just need to do here is to take this x here change the sign here this becomes positive 7 then all divided by the number here 3 and then what do you do because of these two here you take the square root there's no need of writing this two here is supposed to be here that is to show square root but there's no need of writing two there so we take the square root of that value then the next one that we have here because of the square outside the bracket here you have to take the square root of this if it's three here you take the third root of this so because it is two you're going to take the square root of this that is the square root of x then you change the sign of this to become plus one all divided by this number here which is two so this is the answer to that so the square root of x plus one over two that is the inverse and then this one says seven x cubed to get the inverse of this what you just need need to do is to as usual take this x here there's no other value here so you take only the x and then you divide by the value that is here which is seven and then because of the cube here you take the cube root or the third root of this whole value this one is similar to this that has square and this one has cube so they are similar right? so when you see problems like this on inverse or functions you apply this direct method in looking for their inverse so please subscribe to this channel so that you can get more direct method of resolving problems in mathematics like this thank you